You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store. Run that back turbo. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store. Run that back turbo. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drip. They set it up. I got them on it. I bought a new paddock. I had to. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make the best um Fortnite montage with no plugins and with plugins. So yeah, let's get into it. Um. Firstly, you want to go into your file project settings, make sure it's 24 FPS, 2560, 1440p. And Dragon Song, I'm using Take. Actually, I might use. Where is it? I might use. Drip Too Hard. So, Fire Song. So, Fun. Drop. Is there and then drag in your first clip uh, and then drag in your clip And then go to where the palette shop, which is there. And then we're gonna now we're gonna add our velocity. So I'm like the clip, Control R, and then and then go to the frame where the stairs fully edited which is there and I go to the center then I won 25% first second 400 and then the last one 25% and then it's lined up perfectly and then optical flow just to make it sputtery smooth. Yeah, it's just clean velocity. And then you want to fade in your assets by two seconds. Your clip, so the audio for the clip, and then the song. You can get the biggest in there back in the store. Yeah, it's just, yeah. And then we can do our first impact. So go to the adjustment clip. And then control B. And then select it. And then go to the fusion tab. And then download the um, impact I have. It's going to be my editing pack. It's just going to be... Um, it's gonna be a no plugin. <laughs> and then, yeah, drag all these on. So, color corrector, transform, camera shake, another camera shake. <laughs> and then, waviness, flicker edition. And flicker edition. And then, yeah, since it's fully rendered, let's see the impact. You can get the biggest in there back in the store. Yep. Good. Cut that down just a little bit. Shouldn't mind, it's fine. And then we're gonna add in our second clip, which is gonna be. Ooh. 
So that. to the If you want, you can cut the song, but I wouldn't recommend to do it if... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you want to, you can. You can't really notice it much. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter, but yeah. And then you want to unlink the clips. Control R, add a speed point. It's just the same velocity. And then find where they gun. And then add a speed point. And then 25, 400. And then 25. Optical flow and then yeah, it should just be clean. <laughs> yeah, it's just clean. And then you just wanna add a fade like that. Couple frames. Alright, now we're gonna watch it. Run that back, turbo. You can get the biggest in there back in the start of the morning. I bought a new paddock, I had the one, so I too toned. Taking these drawers, I'm gonna be up until the morning. And then add an adjustment clip. And then go to your fusion. And then go back to the impacts. And then add just a tilt shake. Not sure, no plugins, get out of here. Um, Dragon, the Joshi, no plugin, good impact. And credit to Joshi, by the way, he makes godly impacts. And then... And then it's just clean impact. Alright, now we're gonna add some CC, which is color correction. So you go to color tab and then drag this up. And about the up the saturation, up the shadows. Up the shadows a little bit. You can get the biggest in there back in the shot of morning. I bought a new paddock, I had a and right there. Up the sound, uh, up the shadows. The ones I want to turn. Run it back. Turbo. You can get the biggest in there back in the You can get the biggest in there back in the start of morning. I bought it. Alright, that should be good. 
Just watch it. You can get the biggest in there, like it's kind of money. I bought a new paddock, I had to watch, so I was too tall. Taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. Then I should call you, just at least you don't. Alright, that, that's good. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Actually, no, then we're gonna go straight. Actually, first, I'm gonna show you guys some render settings. So, yeah, keep it on 24 FPS. And then go to um, restrict uh, quality, restrict two, and just spam at any number, and then press enter, and it'll go to the max, just two million. And then go to um, press advanced options, and then go to forcing size. Yeah, just like these two, tick them, add to render queue, and save it where. So, yeah, that's just the basic montage that you guys can make. But you guys will have way more clips than me, so, yeah. Well, now we're going to move on to the plugin tutorial, so, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, guys, so now we're going to do a plugin tutorial. So, yeah, it's the exact same settings. So, yeah, drag in our song again. Drip too hard. <laughs> And then mark it. And uh, mark it there. Should be good. Let's see. You can get the biggest in there back in the store if you want it. I gave him the drill, they set it up. I got a mom. Actually, there. So, drag in the first clip. And and then find where your palette show up. You can get the biggest in there. And then you wanna add a fade. I mean, I, I mean, no. velocity is the same velocity velocity as the last tutorial. Find where the frame is, put it stands for. We added it. And then go into the middle. Twenty five. Four hundred. 25 and then just drag that back optical flow you can get the biggest in there back in the store clean and then just add an adjustment clip and then this is going to be a plug-in impact so still probably it might not be my editing pack but i'll try to put it in after this video so Go to the impact setting and then add the um or oh, which impact maybe a raise impact and then put that on no and it should be a shake or so that that that. Wait for it to render out. And then go to your edit tab then I'll watch it. You can get the biggest in there back in get the biggest in there back. You can get the biggest in there back in the store. Just wait for it to render. Biggest in there back in the store. You can get the biggest in there back in the store. Alright, it's good enough. And the second marker goes triple edit down. Cut it down. Go to where the pallets. Drag it out. Drag it in. And 
and then the exact same velocity, which is queen velocity. And then, yeah, you'll dig when the gun shows up. Middle 25, 425. And then 25 there. And then drag that. Just about a second one, or else it won't work. And then velocity. And then go to the optical flow setting. And then go drag in the adjustment clip. And then go to the fusion tab and then drag in uh, maybe a colorful flicker, which is sapphire. And but you guys only need RS and B and uh, flicker. And sapphire for this tutorial, by the way. And then, and it's just a clean flicker, and with a shake. Ooh. Yeah, now it's fully rendered. Yes. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. So I'll see you all first, we're going to add some transitions up and the uh, RSMB. So go to open effects, type in RSMB, and then drag it on, and then drag it on. And then you guys want to go to deliver, and then same settings. Yeah, and then, and then add it to render queue, and rename, and cool i don't know i don't care if i spelled it wrong and then render so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one peace out